Hello everyone, welcome to Geeker Mac. Sometimes when you shut down your computer, instead of shutting down, it restarts automatically. And as a result, stuck in a restart loop. This is an annoying issue, right? In this video, I'm going to share possible solution that might help in fixing this issue. Before that, I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to the channel as this encourages me in creating more similar videos. Click on the search icon and type View Advanced System Settings. When this appears in the search results, click to open it. In the window that open, click on the settings button under startup and recovery. Under system failure, uncheck the option for automatically restart. Click OK, then apply, and then click OK. And check if this fixes the issue. Next type, edit power plan in the search. When the same setting appears in the search results, click to open it. Click on the power options here and then click choose what closing the lid does. Here click change setting that are currently unavailable. Then uncheck the box for turn off fast startup recommended. Save changes and check if this fixes the issue. Next, right click on the start button and select device manager. Here expand network adapter. Right click on your device network connection driver. Select properties. Select power management tab. Now uncheck the box for allow this device to wake the computer. Click OK and check if this fixes the issue. Next, open registry editor. And navigate to following key. HK local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, At last, we'll log on. Here on the right side, locate string value with name power down after shutdown. Set its validator to 1. Click OK and close everything. And check if this fixes the issue. So these are possible solutions using which you can fix Windows 11 PC restart automatically after shutdown. Why don't you try these solutions and let me know in the comments which work for you. In case you are aware of any other solution then feel free to share in the comments as this will help other affected users. In case you are facing the same issue on Windows 11 PC then you can try these solutions as well. So that's all about this video. If you find this video useful don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get notifications about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.